What's going on everybody? This is Darren from Affordable Shoe Review. Here to review some shoes for your friends and you. It has been a while guys, but I am back with another review that incorporates two of my favorite things, sneakers and fishing. I cannot wait to go into this pair with you. So let's go ahead, crack it open and see what we got. If you are new here, please go like, subscribe and comment. I appreciate you very much. We are on the road to 3000 subscribers. We are almost there. We're only like 80 some subscribers away from 3000. So go ahead and subscribe. If you are a returning subscriber, thank you so much for continuing to rock with my content. And now let's bust open this Nike Sportswear box. All right guys, so upon opening this box, you will see the nice water paper. I think this is a really dope paper uh, inside of this box in the traditional Nike Red Sportswear box. At least they gave you something a little special denoting this pair. So I think this is a dope paper um, to use in this box. All right, guys, and here we have them. This is the Nike Dunk Low in the Chinook Salmon, or also called the Photon Dust and Ocean Bliss colorway. Whew, these are fire. This is a great, great summer sneaker. I cannot wait to go into the details with you. So let's go ahead and get into it. Now, this sneaker was modeled after a Chinook salmon so the coloration from that kind of salmon and i think that they did a beautiful job of creating this sneaker with the materials used and the special details that i will be going over i want to start out by noting all of the materials that are used to, to construct the upper of this sneaker including this very very light blue suede that is used on all of your overlays around your mud guard over your eye stays and around your heel cup but it is a good suede, so a very, very nice suede on all of the overlays. I'll hold this close so you guys can see it. Now, alongside those overlays of that long-haired suede, there is actually a ripstop material that is used on your toe box, around your ankle collar, and on your mid panels. And this is also done in a contrasting light blue. I think that that is a great, great material. I love when ripstop is used on any sneaker, um, but this one in particular has a very nice light colored ripstop material. Now, one of my favorite details on this sneaker is the Ocean Bliss panel of suede on the back heel. You guys can see that right here. I love that slight pop of color to give it a variation from the rest of those light blues that are all throughout the rest of the shoe. Now this light blue on the heel actually matches with the light blue that is used to construct the tongue. And this is a nylon tongue. Hopefully this will focus for you so you can see it. Your midsole is done in an aged cream look, so a little darker than sale in my opinion. That aged cream look as well as a gray outsole, I think those are both great compliments. And one of my favorite details of this sneaker is that the stitching is done in a light blue. I will make sure to take an up close picture so you can see it. Now because this is a fishing or salmon inspired sneaker, we are going to start getting into the fishy details, including a couple of fish graphics, one on the tongue right here. And this does say made in Beaverton in 1972. So you'll see that right here on the tongue tag, as well as on your insole. So you do have those fish graphics, which I think is really dope. Just a very, very cool nod to the fact that these are fishing inspired sneakers. Next up, and probably most prevalent on this shoe, are going to be your Nike swooshes. These swooshes are done in a scaled effect in that kind of iridescent pearlish pattern, and these are gorgeous. So in the light, I don't know if you guys can see that reflecting in the light there, but it does have that nice rainbowy shine for that iridescent uh, scale pattern. And one thing that I thought was extremely dope for Nike to do was to add an extra piece of leather to the swoosh to make it a fish hook. So symbolizing a fish hook right there, you'll see that extra piece of leather that's been added. 
and man, that just makes it a really cool detail that I haven't seen on any other sneaker. Now that fishy pearlescent pattern or that scale pearlescent pattern is also done on the back heel tab and you can see that right there. And then the Nike is done in that cream color stitched in. Now your laces are done in a flat cream lace to match your midsole. I think that those are great laces, but those are the only lace options that you get and they come stock in the sneaker. Your ankle collar is done in a light blue mesh, nice and padded, but you do have a very thin tongue as these are not SB Dunks, these are regular Dunks. Now this sneaker has actually come out with a partner pair in a pack and that is going to be the Rainbow Trout pair. I actually get that pair in tomorrow, so I will review those as well. But man, I cannot brag enough about this Gone Fishing Chinook Salmon colorway. This is a perfect summer sneaker. I absolutely love this pair. I will throw it on feet for you guys to see so that you guys can determine for yourself whether or not you wanna go purchase this pair. I was able to hit on the exclusive access shock drop on the Nike Sneakers app. It was a really cool shock drop. You had to watch a short video about fishing and you had to like uncover them by wiping your finger on the screen and then you were able to purchase them and I was able to hit on both pairs. But these, these do have a wider release a little bit later in June. So if you wanted to grab that pair in that wider release, go ahead and determine that because I wouldn't want to skip on these. They're awesome. All right, guys, well, thank you so much for taking a few minutes to watch my review on the Gone Fishing Chinook Salmon or Photon Dust and Ocean Bliss Nike Dunk Low. I'm gonna go ahead and throw this to the on feet. Please stay safe, stay blessed. Thanks for tuning in and peace out.